What's poppin' YouTuber? Welcome to my channel, Astro Finesse. It's your boy Lil Finesse and Jiggy Hippie. Back with another video for y'all. And this video right here, we're gonna be talking about if you have soul urge number one. And now pause for the cause. If you don't know how to find your soul urge number, if you don't know why it's important, if you don't know why it's important to understand your soul urge number or to understand yourself through numerology and astrology, if nobody puts you on as to why you have to understand yourself spiritually. If you're just brand new to this journey, if you're a new subscriber, don't worry, I got you. There's a couple of videos. I put the link in the description. You have to watch them first so you become hip to the knowledge of what I'm about to talk about right now. So if you did your math, if you watched my last video and did your math and you realize your soul urge number one is videos for you. So without further ado, let's just get it popping, shall we? All right, so boom, soul urge number one. First of all, what does a soul urge mean for you? Why do, why do you have to know what it means? How does that affect you as a person in this reality? So soul urge in numerology is derived from taking the vowels in your name and adding up the numbers to get that number. So in numerology, the vowel sounds or the vowels in the alphabet are the soft sounds, so they represent like the emotional kind of aspect of ourselves. They're the soft sounds. When you say vowels in any word, they come out smoothly. They don't, they're not harsh, they're kind of soft and they're subtle. So in ourselves, in our personality, soul urge numbers represents the subtleness of us and overall represents what we value, the internal, our internal self where we inner, our innermost desires, also known as a heart's desire number. Consonants, when you say consonants, you can see how harsh it sounds, how kind of hard it is, it is to say it. You have to use your lips, your tongue to speak consonants. But with vowels, it just comes out smooth and easy and it's subtly in the word itself. So in numerology, the soul urge is what you innately value, your inner desire, your deep desire. What motivates you? What wakes you up in the morning? Why do you do what you do? What is your intention for doing anything that you're doing? So that's what your soul urge number represents. So when you have a soul urge number of one, what does that mean for you in this lifetime? What does that mean? What do you value in this lifetime? What does your soul want to accomplish in this lifetime? What was your soul deprived of in your previous past life? As we all know, and I have a numerology series on life path numbers, the numbers, the meanings of the numbers itself by itself do not change. So as we all know, number one is ruled by the sun. Number one represents leadership and authority and all that. But when it comes to the soul urge, what is your soul value? The main word for this placement, the main word for this number is you value authenticity. Authenticity, originality, being yourself, being different, just being original, starting something. The start of something is always the first to do something. When you're the first to do something, when you're the first to innovate something, you're the start of it, you're authentic. And from being, from valuing, from innately desiring and needing to be authentic, that automatically puts you into the leadership position. So that's why these people naturally like to be in the leadership position, naturally like to be on top, naturally like to be the boss, naturally like to be the head. One rule by the sun, naturally likes to shine from within being authentic. <clears throat> now, and like I said, a lot of times when it comes to your soul urge number, your soul in this lifetime craves and wants it a lot because in this past life, it was deprived from it. So it could be that a lot of times these people in their past life, they were told or they had to be original, they had to be the same, they couldn't really authentic authenticate themselves, they couldn't really go outside the box of themselves. So in this reality, the main purpose is to be authentic and to be the leader, to put yourself in leadership positions and to gain confidence within yourself, the sun Leo type energy, to gain the confidence within yourself so people look up to you and you'll be able to be that son that, you're that your soul craves and values. Now, having this placement, having this number, comes with, comes with responsibilities like all the numbers that, and I'm gonna talk about in my later videos. But the main thing for this is a lot of times, things to look out for having this number, or actually the benefits of having this number. Putting yourself in the leadership position, putting yourself or having the confidence to be able to start things and be able to create ideas, to be able to be original. A lot of times with displacements, y'all are amazing at starting something, starting a new idea, amazing at expressing yourself the way you want to express yourself. Usually by, by the way you dress, by the way you do your hair and everything. You, the way you express yourself is usually come to the vibes of authenticity. The thing about displacement is 
when you're always trying to be first, when you're always trying to start something, when you're always trying to get a new idea, especially, and it has to tie into your life path numbers too, which is why it's really important to know your life path number, to know your um, astrology birth chart. But if your life path number, let's say, is number three, and you already know threes likes to kind of do a lot of things at once, put a lot of different eggs in different baskets, to kind of like to multitask a lot. Let's say you have a life path three and a soul is number one. A lot of times, and in general, solar number one people are amazing at starting things. But when it comes to following through, seeing it through, seeing the end result, kind of being focused on that one thing long enough to finish it, it's kind of difficult. Especially if you're starting something in the beginning, your confidence is high, your morale is high, your self-esteem is high, you feel good about yourself, you're loving what you're doing, you're, um, you're feeling great about starting this object, and then all of a sudden... The confidence in this placement, the confidence can 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 wither down a little bit. You can see yourself kind of looking around and kind of comparing yourself to other people and kind of makes you not want to stick with that thing. You could be so into one subject, studying so much, getting all the information, knowing exactly what you have to do, starting it up, you feel great, and then all of a sudden you realize like, you know, your confidence kind of goes down a little bit, and then you throw that out and you go start a new thing because it's like the excitement of starting something new being number one, being original, being authentic, starting that new thing is exciting. But understand that it takes like, you know, it takes longevity, it takes discipline to be able to carry it out. So like I said, the thing with this placement is y'all are amazing at starting things. The confidence with this placement is the biggest thing to understand and to really tap in when it comes to knowing who you are deep down inside. Comparing yourself to others and with this generation, like looking on social media, seeing somebody else doing what you're doing instead of doing it better. Don't let that deter your confidence. We all have a we all have a path in life. We all have our timing. We all have a, a certain mission to accomplish. Don't compare yourself to somebody else and what their mission is and kind of deter your confidence. Number one is ruled by the sun. You are here to shine. You are here to be the center of attention. No matter whether you like it or not, whether you try to or not, you can see yourself being in the center of attention. You can see yourself being pushing yourself and striving to be the leader. Your soul desires, your soul craves to be the leader, to be number one. So put yourself in situations that can help you propel that. If you don't know what your soul number, soul is number is, if you never watch this video, if you never learned about soul is numbers in general, you will be not working at your fullest potential because your your life pattern, your lifestyle, whether you're going through the leadership positions, you could either be doing the negative sides of it, the shadow sides of it, if you're not aware of it. Or if you're aware of it, you can use this energy and, pr and prepare yourself to be doing the, the positive sides of it. Now, the shadow side of having solar is number one. The shadow side of being a leader. The shadow side of being authentic. The shadow side of always wanting things to be the way you want it to be because you have a, 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 a vision of how you want it to, to look like. Is low-key, high-key, especially in relationships. And it's very important to know your solar's number and to know your partner's solar's number so you know what they value in this lifetime. You have to know what each person values so it can help you understand each other. So if you value authenticity, if you value being the boss, if you value being number one, it could come off to people around you as you could be really controlling low-key, could be very dominating low-key, domineering low-key. Your confidence could turn to cockiness low-key if you have a too high of a um, morale boost over yourself it could kind of be domineering in a way that's the shadow side if you were not aware of having this placement naturally when you're not aware of having this placement naturally you, you go into the the shadow side and unless you have the self-reflection the self-awareness enough to actually look at your actions and look at your energy to see how you interact in this world so like i said the shadow side is could be too domineering too controlling too confident you want things to go your way too much. You could be kind of stubborn to new ideas in a way. At the same time, people around you could look at you like, if you're not working into your leadership role, your confidence can be low. You could look around too much and compare yourself too much. So understanding the balance between being a leader, being that number one energy, being that valuing that authenticity, valuing that originality in this lifetime. Make sure you're doing something in this lifetime that helps you become that that number one energy, become that number one leadership quality. But not to the point of being too much controlling, too much domineering, too much overpowering, too much, there's a balance in everything. There's a balance in everything basically, just not being too overpowering with it. But all in all though, 
ideas that you have become fulfilled because of the willpower y'all have. Ideas that you have become fulfilled because of the, the innate need to be able to start something new. You're always the first in your family to do something, the first in your group friends to do something, the first to do something because you, li you like to spark energy. Number one rule by the sun. Solar's number one energy is a fire sign, so you like to start. You just like to be ahead of things. Be aware of your confidence. Be aware of your comparisons. Be aware of a lot of times y'all could really look up to celebrities, not trying to be like them, but you appreciate and you like how celebrities have reached the top and they're leaders and people look up to them and shout them affection. Like y'all can really look up to energy like that too much so that you can look at yourself like, damn, I'm not at that. And I'm not, I'm not there right now or I'm not where they are. So I'm not really, you kind of look down on yourself low key when it comes to your confidence because you're comparing yourself too much. Or the flip side is you kind of have a uh, superiority complex as in I am everything, I'm the best at this, I'm the best at what I do. Even though you might be the best at what you do, most likely you are the best at what you do because no matter what, in every situation, y'all strive to be the best in what you do. Like you, your, your, your soul, your heart, desire, your soul values and strives to be the best at whatever you do to be number one. This is solar is number one. So you value being authentic, you value being number one. Just understand that if your soul is craving so much that you can you could not go overboard with it or you could not be too underboard with it, kind of be shy and timid and not really wanting to put yourself in the leadership position, not wanting to put yourself in the leadership role. It's all about the balance. But the people that you're in relationship people that you're in you're in relationships with when it comes to dating, understand that Especially if you have like a life path number two or a life path number six, and these are more of the code or more of the interdependent kind of energies, like you value connections, you value relationships. So you will be able to value connections and relationships to be, but being a solar is number one, you will want to be the leader in that relationship, the leader in that connection. So your partner has to understand that you low key, high key need to be running the show, running the relationship, running the connection. So that's why I say you have to want to know what your partner's solar's number is and your solar's number so you know the, the compatibility factor. So if you're dealing with someone like another one, someone that is a, a number five or a number eight that needs power, it's not, the friction is not going to really be um, co 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 cohesive, uh, cohesive, if that makes sense. The friction is not going to be, it's not going to blend well because that other person also needs to be in control. That other person also needs to have the power and authority over themselves in the relationship. So when it comes to this whole this whole energy, when it comes to learning about yourself, it's all about knowing who you are and knowing how you could place yourself in positions that kind of benefit that more than benefits you as a person. So like I said, knowing your partner's solo's number, knowing your solo's number, knowing that you high key like to and need to, your soul craves and desires to be in the lead. It desires to be number one. It desires to be original. It desires to be authentic express yourself in the way you see your deem fit in the way you deem your deem fit express yourself in the way that you that you that you not suppressing that one energy because if not then it goes into the shadow side it's all about knowing yourself and putting yourself and trying to working on the light side of each of each placement knowing your partner's placement very important knowing your placement putting yourself in positions knowing who you are being proud of who you are, your authentic ideas, being proud of being the best at what you're doing, being being proud of actually putting yourself in situations, low key not being too professionistic, because the reason why I can be professionistic is like I said, you want to be number one in everything. So that's not a bad thing being professionistic, but it could be a bad thing if you're if it's affecting the people around you. If like damn, this person is so hard headed, this person is so domineering, this person is so micromanaging. I can't really like your your coworkers or your relationships, you, you could be like the person that could be micromanaging and wanting want to control, not really looking at that person for what they bring, but you want to kind of make them, you want them to deliver what you think they should deliver and things like that. Only if you have this place, you know what I'm talking about. But all in all though, you crave to be number one. You crave to be an authentic position. You crave to be the leadership position. Understand your role in this lifetime. Understand yourself in this lifetime. Put together your life path number and your soul and your soul earth number to see how if they're compatible if 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 they can co coincide coincide with each other if not that means you have work to do that means you have more inner healing to do inner shadow work to do 
But all in all though, in this lifetime, you are here to shine the sun. You are here to be authentic. You are here to lead. You are here to be number one. You are here to be be the sun that people look up to. Be the shine that people look up to. You're here to to bring people. You're here to create a mission for yourself, create a goal for yourself, and and be the one to go there. And people around you will be following you, looking up to you, and and be be adoring you in a way, or be shining at you in a way. Just like how when you look at celebrities, how they get all these accolades and get all these people shining and adoring them. Your soul craves that kind of energy, it kind of craves that that energy of being authentic, being yourself, being able to do what you want. That's why y'all not really the nine to five type. That's why y'all are more likely the entrepreneurial type or being the head help, the head, the head CEO type. Being that kind of type is what your soul craves. If you're not doing that right now, if you're kind of the timid or you're kind of shy or you're not really thinking of a plan, thinking of a mission, you're just going through life, just running through the motions, not really putting yourself in that position, you're not really working in co in um, in congruency with your soul energy, with your heart, with with your spirit. You're not really working in congruency with that. So put all that together, tie your energies together, your, your life path number, soul urge, your birth chart. Put yourself in situations that can help you better yourself in this reality. Understand also not to be too overbearing, not to be too domineering, not to be too controlling, not to start objects and then stop and then go to another one start i'm happy and then all of a sudden my confidence is down and stop and then start a new one and then stop that could be like bouncing around from from ideas to ideas kind of focus yourself and build up your confidence enough to be able to carry out that mission but once you do you you will feel fulfilled in this lifetime solar numbers is what helps what what makes your heart feel fulfilled in this lifetime you want full fulfillment walk in the path of your solar number Look at your life path number two, make sure they coincide. Look at your partners or your friends or your families to see how all you guys or all of you can coincide together in this lifetime. Be that leader, be authentic. Don't compare yourself, don't look around and kind of look at how people are walking, people are living their life and kind of comparing yourself. Be authentic, be that leader, be that number one energy, energy that your soul values and craves in this lifetime. So that was my video on Solar's number one. I hope y'all enjoyed that. My next video is going to be on Solar's number two, and you already know I'm about to go in. If you have subscribed to my channel, appreciate all y'all for real, for real, you already know. But if you still haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, handle the one time for your boy. Don't forget to drink your water, mind your business, and be safe out here. It's your boy, Lil Finesse Jiggy Hippie. I'm going to see all y'all when I see y'all.